say this, you know, um, he probably is one of the top three or four top athletes in the history of of Red, of, uh, of Boston sports. He's got, you know, he's he's right up there with Tom Brady. He's right up there with Larry Bird. He's right up there with all the greats. And you know, we've had some historic ball players from Red Sox history, Yaz and, and Ted. But he's got the hardware to go with him. You know, three World Series. And, very, very clutch. So he's right up there with everybody. That's just, that's just my opinion. If you spend any time with him, I don't know if people understand how much he thinks about the game, his recall, his ability to think about pitchers and what they're going to throw at him. This is a guy who spends a lot of time thinking about the craft, isn't it? No one, there's no one that could hit 500 plus home runs and not be thinking about what's going on. All of us, you know, um, and especially being a lefty hitter, where you really have to think because you have to stay there a little long, bit longer against a lefty pitcher. You might have to get out in front of Russia. There's, there's a lot of things, technical things that have to happen to be successful being lefty. You know? and there's no way he could possibly not be thinking to be to do as well as he's done. Obviously, he didn't spend his whole career here, but basically spent his major league career in Boston. Every year goes by, it's harder and harder for a guy to do that. Not many left that really spend the bulk of their career with one team. I thought Cal was going to be like the last one. Um, but it's great that David has, has done this. You know, listen, we're never going to, you know, you don't forget the Twins. It's in the history books, but he's a Boston Red Sox from through and through.